yes yeah okay good morning all yeah yesterday we have just seen an intro like how our classes are going to be like how we will be uh, sharing our uh, materials videos and how to do the installation what may be the system requirement in cloud and distribution open sources so we have seen such a basic intro on uh, our classes that's it so today we will start with the big data the topic big data so like as i said for our uh, understanding on a higher level big data is a concept and uh, hadoop spark these are the tools which we can refer as framework framework just to work with the big data they have said that big data is huge set of data big data is something dealing with huge set of data huge set of data and to a definition i have said anything beyond the processing and storage capacity of a traditional data we have seen like what is traditional data whatever we use rdbms or something that's a traditional data so something beyond its storage and uh, processing capacity that's big data for that uh, tool so we said that uh, and we have just theoretically seen that uh, anything processing beyond uh, that capacity yeah, that will be a big data for that tool so again we will be needing big data <coughs> sorry excuse me so when you go for hadoop we will be saying it as a batch process and when we go for spark batch and real time can just say it as a real time or streaming near real time so the terms means everything same real time streaming near real time i have said like uh, when we uh, just open a youtube video or something we will be uh, just uh, looking into a video which is streaming in the back end we are receiving a package uh, in a real time that is uh, on a live uh, like something we are receiving it whereas we can just download it offline and we can work on it uh, that is something batch so when theoretically we see what is batch or uh, spar and uh, sorry real time something working on a historical data we have a concept in a warehouse oltp and olap have you heard this terms oltp olap yes yeah so oltp is more over like in real time that is present date present date data whereas olap will be something historical data which is previous day or uh, some one month one week one month one year back data whatever the historical data we have that it will be an olap yeah. and whatever the current data we will be having that deals with the oltp here yeah. so when you want to go deal with this oltp which is a real time we will be using uh, we will be receiving the data in a real time or something uh, that we will be dealing with oltp and olap here yeah. so hadoop is more fit for olap batch processing and spark moreover for an real time processing yeah so how real time how batch yeah? considered walmart we know that walmart daily they are doing some transaction transaction means they are uh, making some uh, purchases in the walmart store or something and they are making a payment everything yeah. so we are receiving a data on a daily basis uh, it has n number of branches right so we can image the size of data they are just collecting for one day when you want to do an analysis uh, consider a simple analysis uh, i have taken all the products for x bill i would have purchased it someone would have purchased it. Uh, let's consider uh, someone like anbuji or uh, ganesh ji sir but but they are making some purchases me i am making some purchases so we are making some combination of purchases consider i am just 
buying some uh, baby products like a diaper or something when i am buying a diaper for a baby i am just preferring some other products like i have uh, purchased uh, some x soap or something uh, baby soap or something consider so we three are making a purchase out of three we two make the same kind of purchase like uh, when i am just buying a diaper we are just also uh, buying a baby soap or something it is walmart is making a analysis like what the combination of uh, products and a user is buying they can identify uh, the combination using a bill because for every uh, purchase we are just billing it right for billing we ha have a bill id so we can with the bill id i can just make an analysis for x bill this is the product what he has buy so if i take in the combination of some 10 or 100 bills i'm just saying in a minimum whereas the analysis what they will be doing it in uh, millions of records but for understanding i'm just giving you some few i'm just finding that this combination people are just uh, purchasing more so what if i just uh, place this product the rack if we would have seen the racks right in the shopping malls we would have seen racks where the products are kept so what he does uh, he just shifted the product the combination of product what people are buying nearby to the product like like with the diaper nearby to the rack he is placing all the products like the combination of products what people is purchased so what now people maybe the purchase will be more because it since it is a very nearby when he has purchased this when he just turn around he could see the, those products opposite to the rack so he will just think of it and he, he may buy it so they will make an analysis such kind of analysis they can improve their uh, sales everything you get what i'm saying yeah yeah so this can be done in a batch uh, batch which means a historical data that is previous day data one week data one month data i can just take this data this is batch uh, when you go for real time consider the fraud detection that i am just swiping a card here in india when you people come to India, how much time does it take uh, for you to travel back? The flight hours, journey hours, anyone? 20, 25 hours. Okay. So consider your card is swiped here in India. Now at 8 a.m., maybe at 5 a.m., again your card is purchased after three hours in your region. That is in the U.S. some region. Is that possible? So. it's not possible because you are here right so if you want to swipe a card you have to mm -hmm. take it physically somewhere swiping a card in a swipe machine so when you're making a purchase in india maybe you ha you would have purchased something in the airport so at least you should take some 24 to 25 hours because your destination will be 24 to 25 hours right mm -hmm. so when immediately when you're uh, just uh, reaching your airport you may purchase something uh, there so that is possible that 25 to 26 hours yeah that is possible is that possible to purchase within four to five years no considered credit card fraud it's possible only if it's a transfer in, in nearby area four or five hours mm, yeah yeah and I'm, I'm just giving you an example so so the bank making an analysis of this data the next day or some one week back will that be useful no. so one week later right yeah one day or two day or one week later they are making an analysis like uh, this is the use case they wanted to see uh, x customer uh, how his card is just wiped in india and in us within four hours is just making this uh, analysis and finding this findings after a one week will that be useful no no so if you want to avoid the fraud detection or something you have to make it in a real time right right the swipe he has made in india another four hours he has made in a us or something which, which is not possible so that could be a fraud that could be duplication of card something your card is misused or somewhere right so he, he has to make some analysis for time being he will just temporarily block your card informing you saying that so and so 
cases has occurred. If you said, yeah, I have used in India, but I, uh, I'm just going to travel, uh, board my flight. So still I haven't used in US. So that's a fraud now. Mm. So for some cases, we have to do the analysis in a real time. If I do it in a batch, which is if I work it on a historical or previous one week data, that will not uh, serve my purpose. So this is the difference, uh, minimum difference between a batch processing and a real time streaming process. Have you got this or still anyone have doubt on what is batch processing and real time processing? I think we're clear. Okay, any others? If you have any concerns, doubt, you can. I'm just giving you a minimum uh, example to understand what is a batch and a real time. So someone may have uh, questions like what is batch, what is real time, what is streaming. When you say streaming real time, near real time, everything means the same. So it's just a terminology uh, where uh, different people might use differently, but the purpose or the things are same. So here, uh, streaming is OLTP. Yeah, exactly. So OLTP, moreover OLTP. Yeah. So web server log, right? You are getting, you will be getting web server log. Whenever I visit some website, mm -hmm. I'm just uh, searching it, right? I wanted to purchase one TB of a hard disk or something. When I'm just searching, within some five minutes, Google is auto suggesting me some websites, right? Flipkart, uh, Amazon, it's giving me a pop up. So and so. Uh, hard disk, one TB of hard disk, 30 percentage discount. This is your uh, rate, right? Mm -hmm. So how come it's giving me? So whatever I am just uh, browsing it, uh, it's make you using the cache, the whatever the cookies are cached or something. They are making it uh, use in the back end uh, and they are processing it in a real time, right? Okay. Until unless something is processed, you may not have some results. You may not have some suggestions saying that please uh, look into so-and-so product, so-and-so rate. We are getting it right. This thing we would have faced, uh, everyone would have faced it. I don't think so, there is a debate in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. okay. So they will be applying, so they, are, so they are processing your data, which is the web logs or the browser, because they know your IP. Some website, uh, uh, learning phase website or some website, if I visit, uh, if I close the browser and if I visit uh, after some uh, immediately after one minute, even after two days, five days, it will give me a pop up saying that we, we have seen you here uh, previously. Would you like to explore some of our products? Yeah, no, not of suggested. yeah, yeah. So how come? So they are just making use of our IPs because previous log they, they will have. Every laptop has IP. So whenever you are visiting is again, you're going to hit the server with the same IP. So the, already they have the data of whatever uh, already visited. So the IPs, they are having it immediately when you're logging into it, it's making some processing. That so and so IP has visited my website. So did this IP visited previously? Yes. Then you give, you give a pop-up saying that you have visited already. Would you like to uh, explore some of our products or enterprise version products or some of our features. You got it? Okay. So, okay, on a higher level, like uh, what is batch, spa, real time. So Hadoop and Spark are frameworks, separate frameworks. We will look into it tomorrow. Uh, like what is Hadoop, what is Spark ecosystem? And just, I have just given you an uh, intro on a higher level. I'm just going, going to my PPT. Uh, I think everyone uh, is able to view my PPT. No one is spending hard time. If you're not able to view, just uh, raise it. So what is big data? As I said, it's a huge set of data. So to understand what is big data, theoretically, yeah, we are just going to see. Uh, <clears throat> so the data what we generate now or today, it's something different than the data what we have generated at five years or even three to four years back. You would have experience. And now we are using many apps like WhatsApp, Instagram, everything, right? 
So previously, when five years or uh, seven years, eight years back, uh, have you uh, seen such data even in your mobile? We will just consider our mobile. When you see now, when you see your mobile, you do have a uh, more data, images, videos, everything, right? Have you seen this kind of or the size of data in your mobile some seven years or eight years back? No. No. <laughs> when, when we say that as an individual, I'm just generating this many data, I'm having this many data. Even when you open your uh, WhatsApp folder, uh, image folder, you have thousands of images. So you may not be knowing whether to delete it or to do something with this. So now everyone are just buying uh, mobiles for selfies, right? For taking uh, good snaps or something. So previously people, when you're just going out, they used to have only some uh, five to 10 photos, uh, hardly with the cameras, the one with the roll, right? But nowadays they are just uh, clicking hundreds, two hundreds of uh, images. So when you just come back, when you're going for outing and when you come back, uh, you will just uh, view your folder. You will have some 200 to 300 images, photos. So obviously the data, what we generate today, I'm just giving you an example that uh, the, what we used to in our day-to-day -day life. So you will be able to understand it. So imagine how the world goes. When you go for a website, when you go for a server, how much data does it uh, generate? This is just a case study for in 2017 for one minute. In a one minute, this specific respective applications are generating this much data. So if you look into YouTube, 4.1 million videos are getting viewed. So Facebook, around 9 lakh logins within one minute. I'm, I'm just uh, telling you the statics within one minute. The statistics is within one minute. What happens within one minute? So imagine the size of data which is generated in one hour, one day, two days, one week. So what is the size of data? So it's huge. So do you agree in this? As I said in the introduction class, right? Uh, now we are in a need of processing different data, like structured data and structured data, as I said. Um, we will be getting some uh, uh, promotional code mails or something, right? When we hit it, we will be directing to a website. Again, again, that's a promotional code. So previously, what we used to have is advertisement. How? Through televisions. We used to have the advertisement through televisions, whatever it is. So now they are making uh, the advertisement in the internet, so every website, so ads, recommendations, everything. So obviously, they are spending some monies, right? They are... An organization is spending some bucks out of their uh, finance to do some targeted investment or something. So they have to make an analysis, whatever they are spending, does it worth or not? So they have to do some analysis, right? So they may be dealing with different data because the data what they may deal will be a log kind of thing. So when you go for a web server, web logs, it looks different. It's an unstructured data. I will just show you some web logs. Maybe some of you may not uh, have seen a web log. So for your convenience, we are saying web log, web log. How does it look? Okay, can you able to see my screen? Okay, this yes. is a sample web blog. Just, uh, I have, we have just got it from a website. So what does it have? It has an IP, the date and time, what, we, what the user has visited. So what he has done, the activity or something here, he has get, push, whatever he has done. So what is the activity he has done? In this website so get so what is the url he visited so what is the browser he used mozilla 
what is the OS, uh, Windows, Linux, what is the platform he used. So everything, it gets giving me a complete log. This is a sample log. Maybe an organization may be uh, recording more than this. Yeah, so are, yeah sorry. It's a user ID password. Yeah, moreover, because they will have their users. User ID uh, somewhere. So they will generating a web log. What, whoever visiting his website, we are making an analysis how he visited a website. Does he come through a Google or does he come through uh, some links or advertisement link? Advertisement, when we are clicking it, it will be directing, right? It, they are coming to the website, but they may not be knowing how he is coming to my website. Does he Googled or does he just entered a Flipkart and he came or he clicked somewhere a link and he was directed to my website. So this analysis he has to make, right? Mm -hmm. When you go for a big organization, because they will be investing a big amount in the advertisement to improve their revenue. Okay, great. So, okay. Let us see a small use case. We know that the Kabali film released. So SPA Cinema, you know, this is a website to book the tickets, nothing else. So SPA Cinema, when they just open their uh, booking for the day, for, I mean, when there is a film released, uh, some three days, two days uh, pre or there will be a pre-booking. So they will be uh, opening their website for pre-booking uh, X time, 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock something. Uh, when they just open their website, uh, they just got a 20 million requests uh, that user has hit their servers. It generated 750 GB of log, that is web log. What I have shown now, it's just a small log, but their uh, web server it generated around 750 GB of log. So around uh, 60, yeah, 60,000 requests uh, sent in first one hour. So for in first one hour, 60,000 requests they have received. 30K users were online that they have logged into their uh, website through their uh, user, user ID password. So three day seats were sold within six minutes of opening the website. So this is a st statistics of what they have provided. I'm giving you this many data, this, this many details, statics details, like how I'm providing you, and how I would have processed that 7 GB of log. So I would have used some tools, right? So, okay, consider. Now they faced some issue. When this many users or this many requests has happened, the server got hanged actually. Because SPA Cinema is running, uh, is not, they are just booking a ticket or doing something. Uh, so for which they would have set, set up the server in the backend, right? So everything uh, is done in the server setup. So their server got hanged and they have to restart the server. So they just made an analysis why my server got hanged. Because this many users have visited or hit their servers and this many users uh, were online and everyone are making the request booking the tickets. So obviously the number of users were more. So the server was occupied and it got hanged. This is what the analysis what they have made. So now they have made an analysis like uh, this was the reason why my server got hanged. So can you uh, suggest, anyone suggest, what is the action they can take for this? So now, now they have made an analysis why this the server got hanged on that day. So okay, okay. Any... immediate action should be restrict the users, number of users per minute or per uh, hour. Um, or increase the that may not be an ideal solution. Because if you no, that is not ideal solution, immediate yeah. solution. <laughs> okay, fine. Increase the performance. So, okay. You mean to say they increase the server level or size, something, right? Yeah. Okay. But that's going to be infinity, correct? Mm -hmm. How do you take a call on that? Exactly. So, mm -hmm. what you said, like uh, the solution will be uh, like increasing the server or something. Does it going to serve him? Uh, in the revenue level, consider he is going to increase his uh, server uh, server size or something. Yeah. Does it going to benefit it? Benefit him? I think this should be a you know real time mm -hmm. processing. Um, 
no using money. the ticket booking is a real time processing because we are doing it in a real time process no, by like using multiple servers okay and now the problem the statement what i am saying is when they are use when they are opening their counters that, that is the websites for the pre booking for a x uh, time the number of users are more so the servers are getting hanged only on that day not on every day right okay. so this is the use case so what does the so they have made an analysis why my server got hanged so they came up with this statics like this many users got logged in into my website uh, so it has generated so many logs uh, so my server was uh, overloaded and it got hanged uh, that is what the observation they made so then they came to a conclusion okay it's an usual thing nothing to do with it because um, every day there is they won't have a need or requirement that this many users will be logged in because every day we are, we won't have a new movie releasing right mm -hmm. so every day we won't having uh, this many users making a pre booking or booking so they just lived with that no wonder yeah they just lived with that because if they increase the server size or something they again they have to invest some revenue they are not going to get it back right doing for x day are they going to get paid more no even the seats are going to get sold right within 6 minutes or 10 minutes again they, they are not going to increase the seat size if they increase the number of seats that's uh, they are just uh, making a one more uh, screen and increasing some 350 or 500 seats that going to benefit him right are you getting my point yeah. that's true that's true so yeah just, just, this is a one day one day issue yeah that there is not a, a regular one, one day issue so not a regular one so they can ignore it so now we will go with iactc you know that this is a railway booking uh, website you would have all be familiar and you would have experienced a, a round round processing can you log in into this like break like color something break actually and i had to see the tech to break for lunch now time. let's take this use case for iacit consider that iacit is facing same issue should i as ignore this or do something no Uh, they won't do anything something we will live with that <laughs> no uh, here the case is opposite user will be uh, ignoring it <laughs> yeah the solution so but yeah, because it's a, for them it's a one day problem yeah. okay not a one day problem like every day problem whenever they comes right whenever yeah. they need because uh, the tackle everyone will be facing this for have you now experience how iac it is a performance or something is when you go for iac it is a light or something it's something different now so consider iac it is made an uh, analysis or something what are the number of users getting uh, uh, logged or uh, hitting the when we consider this statics uh, for uh, iac it is that 30k users are online for making a takkal or something so now he has made an analysis with the logs so he knows that this is everyday issue so i can use a server or uh, x uh, server only for that particular time right a virtual server or some x server or something uh, performance uh, he may uh, increase the performance at a scalable level because they he knows Correct. that the number of users who stri strikes my uh, website every day is this many users so if i i have just upgraded my servers to this level that will be more than enough or just uh, hiring uh, or just uh, including a server just for that one hour or two hour can service uh, purpose right instead of just uh, hiring a server for entire uh, 24 hours uh, he can just uh, add an a virtual server or some external server for just uh, two right. years for supporting right so okay again they are just going to make some analysis how they are going to make some analysis uh, using the Uh, logs everything right the, with the, all the possible data they have so first i, I need to uh, work on the data what it is available with me identify the use case um, depending on the use case my action may be differ based on my revenue or the cost i am going to invest and the return i am going to get it back are you getting it 
So yes. the point here I want to insist is that we are just uh, capturing it in a log and we are going to process this size of 750 GB of log. Because when SPI Cinema came with this statics, he has not made some assumption or he has not just came just like that. He has made an analysis on the data what he had. Consider the 750 GB log, size of log, how he would have processed to bring this statistics. 30K users were there within six minutes, every seats were got sold. This many users were there in first one hour. So how he made this analysis? By processing the data, right? 750 GB of data he will be storing somewhere and he will be processing somewhere. Is that possible to do in a traditional database? Not possible. Yeah. So now it now the data we can say is big data. This is huge size of data. Okay. So we may require some tools, the big data tools, to make this analysis. So the ultimate part is not uh, suggesting SPA cinema. You have to invest uh, on the servers or ICP on the servers. The ultimate part, what I want to insist is how we are going to bring the statistics, how we are going to identify a problem only by processing the available data, look into the whatever the available data to know what is the exact issue, why we are facing it. Only when, when we identify an issue, we can suggest a solution, right? Great. Great. Okay, as uh, we said in five years, uh, that is in past uh, five years or six, seven years, now it will be six to seven years, 21 billion uh, connected devices, like more users. So the, the day by day, the users are getting increased and the data size is getting increased because the data, what every telecom is offering is now very huge, right? When compared to uh, some, uh, even some two years back, when you see, uh, you will get a one GB of data for 200 rupees per month, right? Now we are getting... Uh, same uh, for same price 200 rupees you are getting 1 gb or 1.5 gb of data daily so the user uh, now they are using more data right which indirectly means they are generating more data are you getting my points okay i'm just talking about some two years or three years back now the telecom users atel reliance everyone are giving data data packages and combining to uh, some two years three years back they were giving a uh, one gb of data just for a hundred rupees for one month now they are giving it for one day one gb of data so users now they are not know what to do with that <laughs> that's uh, one thing but still to make use of it uh, many users are doing something they will be uh, just uh, just uh, viewing more uh, uh, youtube videos or something they are doing it right streaming it uh, they are hitting uh, some, they are more browsing it, they are downloading it. Uh, they are doing more activity on it. Previously, they, they will be doing less activity because of uh, data constraint. They have to pay more. Now they have data, but they are not sure what to do with the data. So they are, they are gone crazy and doing some stuff on the internet. So uh, again, uh, it's generating some weblog in the back end, right? I'm just uh, making you understand how the data size or volume is getting increased. The thing is, the point is not to say that uh, the data what we are uh, getting here in India is very uh, great or uh, we are making use of it. Not. So currently we are talking about only the volume, right? Yeah, only the volume, size of data what we are generating. The ultimate point is the size, uh, to emphasize how what is the size of data we are generating compared to uh, some uh, three years, five years or 10 years back. And the size of data, we are in a need to process in a present day. And when we say we are generating a huge size of data, we mean to say that the size of data now we need to process is very huge. I'm interconnecting it. So the size of data, and the size of gen data generated. So
So obviously the size of data need to process. So it's very huge now. I'm just toggling my screen. I think so you people able to see it. So another use case like how the big data was used in the back end, you would have seen in the, you would have heard even in the US elections in 2014, Obama has used this. They have made make make use of this. Some ex companies that they they used to go provide some user data, that to make some analysis on according to their users. So consider even in India, we are going to make some analysis. Like we are going to target some users or make some analysis on top of some users or target advertisement. Consider we have a job site. When you search for a job in X region, I'm just talking about India. In Chennai, I'm just, if I'm just searching for X region, you guys consider that you're searching for something uh, on a H1B1 visa or something. Okay. When you're uh, searching for that, uh, it will give you some issues. Uh, consider it giving you a pop-up to see a change, uh, better change on H1B1 visa. Please vote for us. If you're getting this pop-up, uh, will that uh, impact our uh, mind or decision making? like whom to vote or elect anyone uh, can you come again to the question like you're browsing a job or some h1 not job considered h1 be on visa you are searching about visa hmm. you you know the restrictions or n number of uh, things that you have in the visa right so when you're browsing about uh, this or something, doing something, you're just getting a pop-up like uh, to see more uh, solutions or to see a better uh, processing on H1B. Please vote for us, whatever the political uh, parties you have. If they are populating with their names, will you think about uh, to whom to vote? Will that uh, change your decision making? If you are a H1B holder, then you <laughs> think to vote him, vote them, but we will not cannot vote them. If I am a green card holder, uh, I will definitely think not to vote them. Exactly. It depends on the situation. Right? So we right. can just uh, make a pop up. Or Either way, impact is there. Mm, yeah. Because they have what they have made, they just uh, use the logs or something like Twitter. Uh, they are commenting something, right? Um, when the elections happened in the US. And the elections were over and the results were uh, uh, just given like uh, he was elected or do we know what are the tweets we got in the Twitter? The feedbacks or something we got? Is this what they said for the election results? You know it better, but still I'm saying it. So when you get the reviews and uh, when you take those uh, reviews or Twitters or something, uh, the, those reviews and uh, you make analysis on top of it. You will get some uh, positive review. You will get some negative. You will get some neutral. Right? Some may be saying that no, he will be uh, doing so and so, he will be performing so and so. Some may be uh, saying a negative review, no, he will not perform. Uh, I am not uh, okay with being in this country, blah, 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 I'm giving some negative feedback. Someone will say, like, uh, okay, let us see, uh, will that uh, change something or he will not have a positive review or a negative review. He will be neutral, right? So what they made when the election approached, they just took some statistics, logs or some reviews, comments, and make some sentimental analysis on top of it. This is called sentimental analysis, like to know what the user, what the people think. So consider we have 40 percentage on this area, and we have some. 40% on this area or 42% on negative. And still we have some 18%. So still this 18% will be something, right? There is a chance of getting out uh, maybe in positive side or negative side. 
then he is going for a vote right to make a change on this 18 percentage i can do some uh, strategy right like what i said in h1 if you uh, can forget about h1 beyond i'm just in india i'm searching about job so jobless there are more people now so to change so to see a change to uh, have a better job opportunity or something vote for us the ex party is mentioning so will he think about uh, voting uh, to him or the existing uh, ruling party many other uh, issues we have we do have some uh, uh, security threat uh, issues for uh, the female or the child uh, girls we have in india so to have more uh, secure society or something uh, please vote for us we are just getting something uh, target or something advertisement uh, and we are getting a uh, pop ups uh, we are getting such things uh, does it impact uh, decision making yeah for sure it will make yes so they will be trying to convert this uh, 18 percentage uh, to some percentage to their voter bank if uh, luckily if he got uh, here some 15 percentage positive review he will be winning the situation right that's right so the point is not to uh, make this uh, the point is like a target advertisement i am speaking like as i said when you browse for a 1 gb uh, uh, 1 terabyte ka uh, 1 tb of hard disk 1 uh, tb of hard disk i am just uh, looking for 1 db of hard disk in google within some 5 minutes uh, google start suggesting uh, flipkart amazon every uh, websites with a price tag right he price uh, some uh, 100 dollars consider the uh, some 100 dollars so amazon with a uh, 25% of discount it cost you some uh, $85 or something if you get some advertisement or such things uh, you will be looking into it right because so you will be more interested uh, towards amazon because he is giving the same product or something with a for a less price uh, so you will be going for uh, this so does it uh, change your uh, impacts your decision making target advertisement i'm just uh, now i'm speaking about target advertisement i'm giving you something which you could have uh, experienced an example so how the suggestions are made your web blogs or your browsing history whatever it is just processed in the back end so an ex user if i'm just using through my credential amazon a lot of suggest the products whatever uh, you browsed if you are browsing through your uh, google or something uh, it will identify with your ip he, he knows that with this ip uh, last time he just search for so and so immediately it, it gets processing immediately in a real time at the back end so they are just processing a huge volume of data and not only that uh, when they were uh, talking yeah and we were talking over phone about hmm. some products hmm. that will come as advertisement in your computer moreover yeah because everything uh, um, when you talking over phone when you getting an advertisement what type of data i am processing have you ever uh, think in that way so uh, when i say the target advertisement i am processing a web blog so i am processing unstructured data so when we use rdbms to make some analysis like walmart what he does he he will be having having everything in a structured way right so there are semi structured data also json xml this uh, data are semi structures so uh, something and unstructured so unstructured it deal with everything uh, web blog what we get server logs we can say as server log server logs so even pdf video audio are we going to process video audio with spark hadoop don't question me we are not going to because for that we will be having a different set of a big data combination for structured data like rdm bms 
even csv there is a debate if that a semi structure or uh, unstructured so i am just taking it into an semi structure so many other data so data is of this different types now organization are need in processing a different set of data with huge size now what it matters is more when compared to previously previously it was just like rdbms data you we consider which is more over a structured data if organization are dealing with a structured data they will go with rdbms or something and they will be processing a less size of data but now the size of since i am keep, keep on repeatedly emphasizing the size of data has increased again. so the data is big now the data is big i am saying data big instead of big data i am putting it in a reverse the data is big so what are the challenges we will face when the data is big anyone storage we are repeatedly saying that we are using a different uh, format of data to analyze and the size of data is getting increased uh, so what may be the challenges in processing this data give Proce a thought. one is processing time processing time great processing time and another one is uh, retrieval methodologies okay can i term it as storage no retrieval methodologies how okay. to Uh, deal with unstructured great okay i will just uh, here term it as processing uh, time and method okay yeah okay because it falls under processing correct so the storage the size of data because previously for one month you will have only uh, some 10 gb of data now for one month you will have some 50 or uh, 70 gb of data right right so the storage is getting increased so what else you will have complication when you say storage is data distribution also say data distribution okay like time time okay time i will just uh, term it into a processing because the method time i will just term it into processing D data distribution no there will be i will again define it into storage what about okay. the cost cost great cost So when the size is increasing, obviously you have to increase your server size, everything, right? When you are increasing your server size, it's going to impact your revenue because you have to invest more. So In, you can say as infrastructure. Great. Okay. Data loss. This is one of the crucial factor, right? whatever the data i am collecting i am storing it somewhere the data has to be stored very securely right it, there should not be any data loss okay data backup okay data i, I just i will term whatever in a different term into this data loss yeah. whatever the backup everything maintenance or something yeah so i will just uh, there are four major issues what they um termed when I mean, they initially they started with big data which is storage processing and cost of implement implementing this thing and uh, the data has to be uh, secured it should not be data loss or something what about retrieval speed hmm great and speed uh, speed is comes under that okay okay uh, it, it comes and the performance comes under the processing so i'm just terming it under processing If security on the such terms so there will be for same thing it will be a different terminology we will have so in big data i, I will term that as a processing security you can consider in data loss all mm, security yeah. it will yeah in the data loss everything the security of the data and the data should not uh, be lost i will just term it under the terminology whatever try you give i will just try to fit into someone something in the from this four point <laughs> so okay that's it these are the major issues what they identified when initially they were, uh, they were just going with the big data what uh, doc cutting what he worked on was uh, for a storage and processing initially in concentrated on storage because the size of data is getting uh, huge so when you go for this traditional rdbms teradata or something 
consider the size of server you have to hire for hire to store this data do we know what is the cost of 1 tb data in a tera data 1 tb of hard disk or server we know we have expert right it's for you yes we know that no idea <laughs> <laughs> so let us consider it will cost you million okay when you go for uh, big data like hadoop or spark implement implementation the implementing the server what you're going to hire a 1 tb and giving you 1 tb example whereas in real time it will be like a uh, petabytes okay the server size but still for understanding i'm just giving you in a small size so 1 tb on a moderate so 1 tb it going to cost you millions because you have to hire a 1 tb of server because you have to store a data for processing again you have to uh, think look into n number of things like ram processor everything right so it's going to cost you obviously more when you go for a setup like a hadoop spark the cost what it going to incur is something less when it compared to teradata for the same 1 tb it may cost you some uh, 60 percentage of the cost what you are going to implement in teradata but still it meets all this requirement it has a great storage and which is in a distributed fashion whatever you said throughput throughput versus data retrieval the the speed of data reading throughput it's going to be uh, great in hadoop because since it's going to store it everything in a distributed fashion we will see when we going into hdfs how it's distribute how it stores we will look into in detail but on a higher level i am just giving you an action like hadoop ga how the sol storage it's going to store the data in a distributed fashion so data distribution again processing is not much time consuming in hadoop when compared to this traditional data considered we are processing a data of 1 tb in Oh, okay at least you could have answered this for processing 1 tb of data in tera tera data how much time does it takes anyone at least uh, it depends uh, to be frank you can't compare any database with any database as a benchmark yes uh, it depends whether you are uh, uh, trying to read just a single table or a multi table okay uh, let me ask you this question since you compare tera data and hadoop right mm -hmm. any data warehouse is a distributed right that is bottom rule if you take hadoop you take tera data you take natisa you take green plum any data warehouse bottom line it has to be distributed it can be either based on a column uh, row distributed or it can be based on a, a size uh, distributed right hadoop is size distributed and tera data is based on the column distributed natisa again column mm -hmm. right so uh, when you say hadoop 1 tb is less yes i agree uh, cost wise it is less uh, comparing to data the reason is tera data is appliances hadoop is not a appliances right it's a open source okay. uh, it's appliances uh, uh, tera data okay. so whatever the features in the rdbms uh, data warehouse that you are seeing the same feature is not applicable in hadoop when i say that you can't challenge a yeah, hadoop you can use five or six table join with the yeah, huge tables and you can get the result just like that but the same thing can happen in teradata is that right maybe up to uh, some uh, extent because the size of data matters here because in hadoop or big data what we are dealing here it's not in gb or tb it's in tb or zb that is petabytes or zettabytes so okay. do we have now have we have a question like is this traditional database like teradata or oracle is that capable of processing a petabyte or a zettabyte uh, yes uh, even teradata that is uh, capable of uh, uh, handling petabytes yeah zettabytes uh, how about zettabytes uh, it depends on how much node that you wanted to spend uh, still you can mm -hmm. handle more data but it depends on how much node you wanted to spend for example if you take wellpoint right wellpoint mm -hmm. insurance is having uh nearly 300 to 400 uh, 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 amps 
it's it's very huge 800 tb of data mm -hmm. uh, storage right mm -hmm. uh, see uh, the the question is uh, uh, the reason why i'm explaining all these things is what i want to understand is so far uh, in my experience wherever i have seen wherever they are using hadoop they never replaced any data warehouse 100% they are using hadoop as an in between process to cook the data instead of uh, using teradata or natisa as the core database uh, to cook the data they wanted to move the load into hadoop do it in the nightly uh, process cook the data and just move that during the daytime uh, before 6 o'clock into the uh, data warehouse so that the reporting tool can use that information from the data warehouse to uh, to throw that in the uh, in the online portal right that is what i have seen so far architecture is that, that true is what uh, true even in the introduction class i have said that, that hadoop is not going to replace rdbms or something what is hadoop is not we have seen a section right if you remember okay. i am not sure like i have said it's not going to replace I'm going to re whereas it will be used for some other uh, external purposes whereas the way what you put forward is something the reality in the ground reality yeah? that they are just taking this data and just processing it they are more, they are just I, I should say i use the word processing it processing mm -hmm. it's over the night and whatever the result what it is expected they are just pushing it into another table and just they are serving the purpose Okay, okay. So when you say processing it big data, my question is why you need a big data there to process? Why you can't do it in the RDBMS? Okay, because it's a cheaper process. RDBMS is very costly. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to process that uh, that much huge uh, uh, volume of data, you need more CPU. Uh, you are giving more uh weightage to the to the database where you end up paying more cost to the to to, to the databases right rdbms appliances yeah but hadoop is a uh, um, low cost commodity where you can push yeah. all this load into hadoop and cook the data and move it that's what my understanding is great that is the point i wanted to emphasize so you already have the answer <laughs> okay and I'm saying, I'm comparing Teradata Hadoop, the repeatedly I was saying like, it's not going to overtake or replacing it. I'm saying that the processing time, what it's going to handle, maybe consider it's a 16 hours or eight hours with the same infrastructure setup, whereas Hadoop is capable of doing it more than that with the less cost. Got it, okay. Because I said uh, big data challenges, when I'm just listing out big data challenges, the thing I got into was cost. Why the cost is also a factor? Because everywhere they are, uh, obviously revenue everywhere matters, right? When you're doing something, uh, doing a business or something, you're going to do only for the revenue business. So cost matters everywhere. As you said, to process a data with this uh, traditional database for uh, such a huge set of database, uh, some companies uh, like uh, you said they are just uh, processing it into petabytes okay, even some companies they are using the zettabytes consider airlines airline companies uh, a flight is generating uh, n uh, x amount of uh, data when it's on the flight consider it's one tb for one hour when a flight uh, it just take off right when it just switch switched on it started generating data so it has some uh, servers, it has some web blocks, everything. So for one hour, it's uh, going to generate or serve around uh, one TB of data. So what is the use of collecting this one TB of data? Obviously for uh, performance, right? Uh, to know some, any issues anywhere, uh, everywhere uh, um, they will be having a sensor, uh, they will be having a performance, everything. They have to identify it in a timely manner. Whereas in flight, uh, it will be very crucial. You you guys will better know how crucial a flight uh, is, <laughs> right? So now the size of data, as I said, the size of data, what they generate and the uh, time taken to process this data. Again, it has to be less. When you want to process this huge set of data within a um, less time, 
you need more resources when you go for more resources obviously it's going to cost you more when you agree on this the teradata 1 tb is going to cost me a million whereas in hadoop uh, since it's in, uh, running on a commodity hardware we will see what is commodity hardware no worry uh, we will come to that point uh, so we are going to process it using a commodity hardware so obviously the cost is going to be less so on a night uh, we are going to just process this data accordingly whatever our need is and we are going to serve it uh, to the customer because the since the customer is using rdbms or uh, some other tool like tableau or whatever we are going to serve it the purpose is same what you said and the point is uh, correct what you said did anyone got or uh, we just went out of context or you you feel like it was over your head Nothing. because many of them will have a question why i need a big data even someone question when big data serves me uh, uh, this many things when organization know it well why can't we go for big data everyone go for big data i said it depends on the use case everywhere like i just give a mobile uh, example like one who prefers the camera he will go for vivo one who prefers security or something he will go for apple one who prefers nothing he will just uh, app installation and usage he will go for a different brand that's what i said so everything depends on the use case so this is also depend on the use cases so are we clear on this point or uh, someone got uh, lost or confused uh, with this mm. yeah we are clear okay so when you are clear on this point so initially what they were focusing uh, were storage and processing so in hadoop uh, they brought hdfs and for storage they introduced map reduce this was the core component of hadoop when we said open source right to install it manually when we installed hadoop the hadoop package will have hdfs and map reduce when you wanted to use other tool like pig hive you have to install it again with a different package that is you have to uh, download the pig package tark file and you have to install it manually that is how it works install configure you have to do it whereas in cloudera you have everything in a single package he has already uh, made it ready it's ready to use it's like a ready made meal just uh, mix it it's ready you can eat it hadoop is like uh, cooking a uh, rice in a cooker uh, and uh, doing it dal in a different thing and you are making a preparation everything you are spending much time and you are eating it when you go for a distribution i could say it's like a ready made just you just put it mix it and eat it that's it that is something a distribution you get it yes okay let me run through the slide i think so We'll be running short of time. So okay. So they are in different industry. They used a different uh, strategy, a methodology to do an analysis or everything. So even you are getting a suggestion. If you are using some news apps, apps for a news, when you are visiting some news like uh, when you are frequently uh, uh, just viewing all the stock market or whatever the news you are getting. It. So it will auto suggest you the only the stock market side. Right? It will give preference to. whatever the stock market news uh, it has received it will recommend you in the recommendation you will find the stock market correct so in some cases in some apps they will give you an option to choose ticket whatever the areas you like sports uh, pol politics or something right am i making sense so in that case you already have made your choice whereas in other apps it it would not request you such details but it will still auto suggest then how it is auto suggesting it is just processing whatever uh, you just uh, visiting it it not i am not saying that it will process only to hadoop or spark even it can apply some machine learning algorithm also in the back end so it will auto suggest you whatever according to your taste or interest so more on this uh, healthcare like uh, considered uh, the cancer or uh, since uh, it's a growing uh, things now they are uh, preferring some medicine combinations to cancer uh, to treat the cancer patients so they know what is the remedy they are giving it meditation whatever they are giving it so 
they are just taking a picking a thousand or uh, ten thousand uh, patients uh, history yeah and whatever the medicines they have uh, provided uh, they just look into make some analysis to see what combination worked uh, and uh, what sort of combination the medicine combination worked for a patient uh. so if i just go with this combination uh, maybe uh, it may work for more patient and uh, more persons could be saved maybe for a different person we may be using a different co combinations because according to their health conditions their bp conditions their sugar conditions everything so we are just making uh, an analysis uh, on top of it because it cannot be made just like that you have to uh, maybe write a machine algorithm or some sort of uh, algorithms to use different algorithms to make it i am saying when I, mean, I mean i say big data everything comes into big data like big data like hadoop spark machine learning everything so so in every perspective every angle there could be a different usage that is what i am trying to emphasize here so when you go for a terminology as i said anything beyond the processing and the storage capacity of traditional data that's a big data so to define it ibm ibm has given a definition uh, like four v's what is a v volume velocity variety velocity so what is volume till now whatever we discuss is volume the huge size of you know, one minute it's then generating so much of data airlines uh, when the flight is on the air it is generating so much of data so this is the data size so obviously it is a volume what is the velocity imagine the speed of uh, data what we receive when you speak about real time a different servers or a different machines you may be generating a data in a different speed correct consider uh, i am using my own web server personal web server so it may be generating a data very less because the number of users or uh, someone uh, who is going to hit my server it's going to be very less imagine how the uh, web log of amazon or flipkart is going to be because number of users are more so the number of sorry the size of data which is going to generate per second or per minute or per hour obviously it's going to differ right so the velocity so the velocity the speed of data when we talk about speed of data it's something the size of data 50 mb per second 100 mb per second 150 mb per second what we are saying right the size of data the at the speed what it generates so the variety what we said like structure semi structure and structure so whatever the types we have seen it's variety veracity is something like authentication so when you uh, just going to work on a data you have to be sure that the data what you collected uh, or something is authentic because if it is not authentic or something it doesn't make sense in making some analysis so am i making uh, sense or is that clear for you or any doubts any clarifications if you feel is something or so, it's not clear or uh, oh yeah you can ask no problem can can, can you repeat the veracity it's like authentic authenticity yeah when you are collecting a data okay. you have to be sure that the data what i have collected is authentic so there may be some processes behind it to make it authentic then only the analysis what you are going to make will help you out right that's right yeah, yeah. when did they add that the fourth we they they added later i'm not sure when did they added maybe obviously when they face such situation they would have added the veracity because uh, um, when us election i said in 2014 they have uh, made some uh, big data analysis uh, then then later when even trump got elected they made the same analysis uh, but the analysis got failed how come so there may be some issue with the data authenticity right so it's the data quality you are referring right data quality some... quality of data we have to ensure so when they came across such situation they added veracity saying that this is also important for a big data they came up with new are you getting this you may be hearing this uh, nothing uh, since it's a concept a concept uh, when you say rdbms dbms it will have n number of things in it right a dbms uh, will be so and so so and so like big data it's a processing of huge set of data which is beyond storage and processing capacity and to define a big data they have just uh, given such terminology like volume of data we are going to handle the velocity the speed of data and the variety structure and structure semi structure 
and authenticity, like the quality of data, what we are going to handle. So they termed it. So when we see these problems, like what we see in the big data challenges, we can say, say such challenges. So processing storage, Hadoop is going to be a solution, one of, one of the tool I could say, which can uh, meet all this requirement. When I say processing speed, it's going to use a distributed processing. Uh, so obviously the processing is going to more. Uh, we will see in detail in tomorrow class uh, because tomorrow we'll be seeing what is Hadoop. So how Hadoop is going to be a solution for big data, uh, we will see it in a detail. So on a higher level, Hadoop is, as I said, it's a framework which has a different tool. And the core component is HDFS MapReduce. Whatever we, we will be hearing like Pig, Hive, Scope, everything, these are ecosystem. So ecosystem. This may be de developed by a different community because Pig was developed by Yahoo. Hive was developed by uh, Facebook. So they developed for their own purpose. Later they open sourced this to Apache. So what Apache did, it took it and it enhanced it according to the Hadoop framework and they have added it to the framework. So the name Hadoop, how dog cutting named it, the symbol of Hadoop, it was dog cutting sun's Toy. It was an elephant toy which he knew he, he used to have it. So he just a symbol, he just used that symbol and elephant symbol. So, how the Hadoop was evolved like 2002, uh, he was started with uh, something else which was like a uh, nutch, N U T C H, the tool what he called for a storage and processing. But uh, when the, he go for uh, more nodes, he had an issue with scaling up. We will discuss what is scale up, uh, scale down, uh, sorry, scale in, scale out. Uh, he had an issue with scale, scaling. Google released it, uh, releases uh, DFS, uh, that is uh, some white paper, because Google already implemented many advanced uh, things. Uh, so they used to uh, release some white papers on how they are doing it. So when they released it, Dog Gutting got the idea and he just uh, came up with the MapReduce support. So it started with the 2002 and in India, it's just implemented six to seven years uh, of implementation in a big data. Now we are in a mid-level. We can say the child has grown up. Now it's not a kid anymore. So this we will see in a tomorrow class, what is Hadoop? So at least now do we have a basic understanding? Okay, maybe like I'm just coming to this point, what the Hadoop is not. Okay, we will see it tomorrow. As I said, uh, it's not going to replace RDBMS. So, okay. Yeah, I'm done. Because <laughs> so since it's too late, I don't want to drag it. Uh, don't want to take your time. Uh, so, what are we have seen today or till now? Uh, if any clarification or uh, any questions, you can raise it now. Even when I'm just taking or explaining something, if you're not clear with it, you can ask me to repeat it as someone said, and you can stop me at any point. If you feel that uh, you are not clear or if I'm very fast or something. Uh, the face, how I'm going, uh, is that okay? Or uh, am I very fast or something? Just uh, ensuring in a few uh, second class, because I want to know your comfort or something. We are good. Okay, great. Because there was some more to cover. Since uh, we are running out of time, I don't want to extend. So, okay. Uh, so the timings, I, I think so there was some uh, uh, 